Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, 24th of May, almost wrapping up the month. It's amazing. Well, here we are down 226 at uh, 33829 on the Dow. That means we've broken that key support on the left in the H pattern that goes to lowercase m. And what I'd said for the last couple of days is if you take out that left side low after the second arch is formed, Whoa, it has just, it, it's got to really quickly get back above that 32,937 level, or you can get a one to one to the downside, which would target the 32,600, 32,500 level. Uh, it doesn't tell you when, it just says be careful. Uh, yes, the other thing, the SP. Now, I would have actually have gone uh, really uh, into the, the deep short side if that was a D right here. Um, at 42.12.91, but because it was a C and there was just a fractional uh, lower high on the uh, 19th, uh, there was a high of uh, 42.12.91, and the very next session there was a high of 42.89.22. There was a chance that we could make that little D right there, but then with the, uh, yesterday during the day, as I was looking at it, then in the afternoon, I said, you know what, that was a big mistake. Because we try to get short, that we missed by pennies, uh, shorting the S and P, uh, the three times short position. Uh, it's a shame. I almost thought it's splitting it. Should we do it? But because there was that just that slight chance that we could have a sudden, a news-related spike, I, I wanted to be a little careful for subscribers. But look at this. When I have a parallel wave count, and I've got in this case an F slash C. If the technicals are starting to weaken and they hadn't actually started to weaken until the close yesterday and now today, that looks like it could very well turn into an F instead of the C. And that says, okay, now you've got everything in line. Uh, watch what happens. And, and because of that, the high that was made back in the weekly chart of the E mini, actually, I want to go to the SP rather than that. I'll go to the SPY. A lot of people have the SPY right there on the Platform, it's easier to get the S and uh, the SPY than the SP. 41831 was the high way back. It was that uh, August, uh, sorry, February, the week of the third this this year. There was a high, uh, and we made a slightly higher high right there in the weekly chart at 426.72. So that says there's a really good chance that we've made, we're making a D in the weekly chart. But look at the technicals. The MACD is good. The stochastics flat at 86%. On balance volume is weakening. That's a clue. But the 9 is still way above the 40. And that just tells me that if it wasn't for this uh, death ceiling, which we knew would be create uh, for weeks, I've been saying, watch out. We've got a very volatile uh, month of May coming up. Uh, and and that's, that's unfolded. But the the fact that the queues went to higher highs means that buy that the fund managers were in fact buying, and you can see that by the weekly chart, the technicals are still very strong. Monthly chart has improved, but not improved enough. We we have to wait for the end of the month before we can talk about that. But in the meantime, the vulnerability of this easy to to draw trend line right here hit two points exactly, and now we're under it. This is the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone now it's a repellent zone going the way to four uh, i'd say 418 would be resistance it's at 410 right now but we're under it and you can see the macd is just turned negative stochastic split slid under 80 percent to 76 percent the nine period moving average has moved so quickly down to the to the to, uh, still above the 14 period moving average but as the narrowness the distance between the 9 and the 14 is just diminishing as we speak, but it hasn't turned negative yet. So I'm just watching it carefully. We, we, at any point, there could be just an eye blink of, a, of a, a hint that there's something good happening and the market can suddenly move to the upside. But the trend right now, and I don't see it changing because it will be the last minute. It will be like midnight. What are we talking about? Uh, May the 31st is Wednesday. 
So it could be midnight on Wednesday. Uh, I'm actually giving a, a talk. It will be a, a, a webinar talk for the Boston Investors uh, Group that evening, Wednesday. It will be, on, uh, be online. Uh, anyway, so what, so what a time to do that, huh? So what we're looking at here is the QQQ was the clue. Clue for the Qs. Um, it pulled back sharply today, almost three points down at 2.30, uh, 3.30. But look at this. You did get your D. So every, all the ducks were lined up except for that one little thing with the S&P because it, everything was there to say there should be at least a consolidation, if not a sharp decline, coming in a sharp daily decline. What about the weekly? Weekly chart, look at this. The weekly chart made a new recovery high in the Qs at 338.67 just uh, three days ago. So that's just saying that this could be a very a very serious pullback. I was talking about serious. Look at this. This is uh, uh, Verizon. Toodle, toodle, toodle. Trading in the 230s just uh, a little while back, three, four days ago. Bam, 220. Right now, the 200 period moving years average is at 218. Look at this. MasterCard. Bam. Trading toodle, toodle, toodle up at a, at a, at a recovery high. Just the other day, it goes to a, a Chapman Wave uh, two-bar reversal, 392.82 on the uh, 18th, uh, is that the 18th? 18th of May, and then 392.20. Uh, there was 02, no, 392.02 on the 18th and the 19th, it goes to 392.20. What is less than 20 cents? And you get this reversal, and where is it trading now? 366. This is serious stuff that we're looking at in some of the areas. What we are looking at here is that the IWM, which was looking fabulous just during my show yesterday, I said, mm, nice little breakout above the resistance, but it's got to close two out of three sessions because it's a daily bar we're looking at above the high of the 18th of uh, April, which was at 179.63. Uh, there it is. Da, 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 trading nicely at the, at the 180.53 level, and boom, now it's at 175. So the speed of this decline, when I, when I look here, big deal, Dow's down 220, S&P's down 33. That's just nothing. It's in the context of the chart patterns that I'm looking at. So this is not bearish behavior in the sense that uh, you're looking and say, oh my God, the Dow's down 200. The Dow's down 860, I'd say. Well, the day's young. Anything can happen. I say that is a serious pullback. But at 200, oh, you can make 200 points up in a second. I don't think it's going to be able to be sustained if there is a reversal. And that's the thing that we're looking at. Uh, shooting, John says, uh, shooting star and IWM daily worked great. Covered some of my puts at 175. Look to reload if we see a bounce. Hey, uh, John in the den. Very nice. Amazon holding, AMZN. Uh, I want to look at a couple of charts now. Yes, Amazon's holding, Apple's holding. Uh, Apple's just down 11 cents at 171.47. Um, there's, there's negative, not bearish, but negative action at this particular point at that peak E at the Chapman Wave. In, remember, these. I, I teach these tools in my webinars that are on. If you become a subscriber, you can do all my webinars. They're just oodles of them. I discuss all these techniques, the Chapman Wave inside track, the repellent zone, Pulls back and out against the chap wave inside track of balance zone. If it take if Apple closes under 168, that's up back to 98. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. 
for daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities. Subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, good point that Pat made in the uh, Tiger YouTube that uh, McCart McCarthy's deal with uh, hardcore conservatives to win the uh, speakership in January included a mandatory 72-hour waiting period before a vote on any legislation. Hmm. Uh, times, okay, yeah, that's, I forgot about that, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, what we're doing is mo monitoring the market. The market right now says, at this particular point right now at 10, 18 a.m., uh, on the 24th of May, the one-minute chart has just had an L sign. It's still, I have to wait for the full minute to, to conclude. It's in leg C, off the low of 41.20. I can barely see a 41.21 round number. And we'll see if this, if this is, I don't see this as a possible um, rally that goes from 41.21 to the 41.48, that 41.48 level, you remember, um, what is it, it must be a month ago, or at least over three weeks ago, when I drawn it in as the middle of a narrow rectangle formation, I said, I'm going to extend this, I've got a feeling it's going to be very important, and how many times have we been way above 41.48 and we come back, look at it, yes, yeah, the 10 minute chart, I've got this dashed line, it just continues forever, um, ad infinitum, and look, here it is. And look how many times we've come back. We almost touched it uh, at 3 o'clock yesterday, rallied, went to a peak C1, C2, just a narrow rectangle formation. Oh, I forgot to draw it in as a narrow rectangle formation. Even that's exactly what I was monitoring all, uh, yeah, all evening. Okay, and then all of a sudden turns around, breaks the low, and it goes to 41.48. Uh, on the on the dot goes up down up down then pulls sharply away and that makes that 4148 level in the next two days something that should be attempted but I don't think we'll go much above it without another bit of about of selling pressure and here we are at 4126 that's uh, that's 20 points uh, 20 points was almost 200 Dow points turn it positive well I don't know about that I do see enough wiggle room to say that the selling pressure is just a little bit overdone on the very short term, 
And therefore, yes, we should see a balance. How the balance is sustained is going to be uh, important. A uh, question came in. No, it's a statement. Netflix is running. Netflix is running. Okay. NFLX. Oh, it's holding very nicely. It's up uh, five. Oh, it's up six at 362.40. Made a peak D. It's pulled back. And a question had come in about is there a place where you could uh, start a position in Netflix? Um, and I said, I just wait because of the day, the conditions today, the 351 level is going to be really important. Today's low so far is 356, is trading 362. That's a, a, on the selling pressure for the last few days. This little pop-up is a good sign. I like the cup formation that's been formed in the weekly chart. I like the, the monthly chart. I just think it's kind of vulnerable to the market right now. I think it was because the selling was a little overdone yesterday. This is a bounce. So the question is, what do you do? My answer was going to be, but I, I don't believe the person who asked me this uses options. <clears throat> and um, I would have said, if you're looking out two months, today is it's May, I would go July. After What's July? The week of the 21st would be Friday, the third week for a monthly option. I would put that in at uh, right now it's a 362. Well, the question came in when it was a 351. And I would have said something in the 360s. Um, if you really want to look out, but you could be more conservative and go 355, I would have said July. And now at 363, because the premium is not going to shrink or change all that much if it sticks around here, I'd say. I'd look out and use an option rather than spend 362 times whatever number of shares you get. Um, I'd rather use an option. And that way you're in the in the play and you don't have to worry about it every, every hour of the day. And if it does drop down to 315, you've got at least six weeks or four weeks and then three weeks and two weeks, at least to get some money back. That's the only way I would look at it right now, although it's acting extremely well. Another question came in about uh, Uber. I, yeah, I must say, in my recent trips, I've, I finally actually got to use Uber. I was not happy because um, I paid more than I would have for a cab because it was, uh, what do they call it, the premium? Um, um, uh, there's a word, I keep forgetting the word. Uh, option. They, they have uh, premium pricing. That is when there's a, a crowded time. And so I happen to have gotten that. So I, I'm not that impressed with my own action. I, I've got to learn better how to use it and maybe switch between Lyft and Uber. But I think it's such a viable entity. And, oh, oh that's right. My wife and I we were at uh, the Tate Museum um, on s Saturday. And um, in, in, the, in London, this is the old, the old one, the Tate Britain. Uh, not the modern Tate. We didn't have time to go there. And that's all English artists. Fabulous museum, I must say. And right on the Thames River, we see Uber boats. No, what did it call Uber? It was a, a, a boat Uber. Uber ships, Uber boats, something like that. I thought, oh, man, Uber Eats. They got Uber everywhere. So I think that, yes, I, I consider Uber here to stay. I think it's really important. How do you get in here again? Um, I was asked, and I don't think the person who, who um, asked me the question um, uses options. It makes it a little bit different. I wouldn't say difficult, but a little different. So here I would wait. I would say, you know, I like it. If I'm looking out, I think Uber leg C in the in the monthly chart. I wouldn't be surprised Uber trading at 38, 32 over a period of even the, if there's a huge digestion, fills in the gap in 33 to 34 or 32 to 34. Uh, I think by August we could be seeing Uber in the uh, 48 to 51 area. It's a possibility. Therefore, uh, an option would be a way to do that there. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, just on the very short term, it's down 33 cents. Um, I'd split my positions, and I, between 36 and 34 is where I would start the start of a position that's looking out that I want. The, the idea is to add to it in three increments on declines, and the first one would be in 36 to 34. That's the way I would look at it. That's the plan. That's not um, um, seeing having a loss. 
in a position and then trying to make up the loss by adding to that position. That's something completely different. This is the plan. All right, so got that out the way. I wanted to show you the TLT. Look at this, the TLT. <clears throat> Up six cents at 101.09. Yes, that rectangle. I had said that by the end of May, when Mike had called me from Boston and we were trading about 106 on the 13th of April, I said I wouldn't be surprised if over a period of time, maybe maybe in May, at some point, maybe the end of May, we, we're very close to 106, but we're not. We're at 101. We're at the bottom of the second arch formation. And that's making this whole area. Let me just pull this across here. Look, that makes this one arch. He has a second arch. It's a little rough, but it's an arch. Nevertheless, with that rectangle formation there, it took out the low. Now the bigger rectangle that you see on the weekly chart has the low of a 99. That's going to be really important. And we are trading at 101.09. If you take out that low, I think then you're now, now you're looking at yields. In fact, I'll pull up the yield chart as soon as we return. Basil Chapman. Uh, Dow's down 238, S&P's down 38. We'll be right back. A couple of questions. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. FNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back, and the Dow's had a little bit of a rally. It's up. It's down 201. It's up from the low just a moment ago, and the S&P is down 33. I'm just pulling up the chart. Here it is. Look, 
this is my weekly chart that I show subscribers to my opening call uh, subscribers. And uh, Wood, the iShares Global Timber uh, Forestry ETF weekly chart, it's really struggling there under the 200 period moving average. Uh, it's it's kind of stuck for now. And look at this turnaround from a peak F. Well, it will be a peak F on, from Friday. It stays negative like this in the weekly chart of the Philadelphia Housing Index. And that's the thing. That's the, the one aspect that I'm looking at that says if we continue to have a rotational uh, a rotational correction upside correction as we've seen on the downside correction with some of the really weak very weak 2022 to early 2023 20, stocks got hammered or the ones that had a rally from october had an overbought situation you saw the the uh, the 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 way a stock like a shopify had a beautiful up move and sort of stalling now just resting a little bit and um, what I'm looking at here is if the because of rates, if you start to see the Philadelphia housing index and isn't this really what the Fed wanted? And this is the reason why I, I look at the yields and I say, I think yields are just stuck in a range for now. Yes, they're rallying. You can see the white one is the 30 year. That's that's the first time in ages that the 30 year is leading in the weekly chart, leading the upside, the 30 year T bond yield. Then the brown is covered over there because the five year is over the uh, is is uh, above the uh, ten year. So this is just says to me we got to watch this closely because now there's a pattern that's forming that says this could become that was a V-shaped pattern. This is a series of V's that are making look one U with a second U. So this is a larger. This is like a W formation that forms a larger U formation, and that U formation sounds like some kind of illness, um, has the ability, the possibility of going higher, which means that this trend, I don't like to overdo this chart with anything, but I will do this now because it's so important. This trend line right here, and I'll make it like an inside track, Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, that's going to be something to watch in June. Now, even more important is that this pullback uh, came with a close above the high that was made earlier in 2023, and uh, it's a weekly chart of the HGX Philadelphia Housing Index, and now it's gone back into that. So if you look at it as a cup formation, here was a successful dreaded H that turned into a huge cup. It failed to take up the, the previous major high of 538 that was made back in 2021, I think it was. And now you've got the E, Pulls back, makes a cup formation, goes to. I'm calling this an F. I could call it. I could give it another, uh, an alternate count, but I don't want to. And it's pulling back, and that just says to me, in the kind of rotation that I'm talking about right now, you've got. You can just see it in today's in today's charts that you've got uh, tremendous weakness in some sectors, with a VIX index. Screaming into the 20 area, I'd say watch out if it closes in the 20 to 21 area. Um, and congratulations, I think it was TG that yesterday said I uh, brought calls on, on the volatility index. That is going to tell me that the selling is going to continue for a little while. So all I can say to you is watch the numbers, and that is for the VIX index, the 200 period moving average of 21.20 uh, hasn't closed above that since... Even here, it went above it in the week, uh, right on 21st of March, it went to 24.16. Couldn't hold it closed in the 21s. So this is going to be very important. And and that's the reason why, look, at what, now that Dow's only down 194, I, I'm just saying to you, this is not the kind of bearish action that says, oh, my God, we've got, we've got, three or four weeks of downside smash. Not yet. It's not to say that it can't happen. I'm saying right now at 10, now it's 10.34 on the 24th of, of May. Uh, we're, we're just looking at this is reactionary. So the volatility index has crossed L, but the day is young. And that's just saying to me, there's a cup formation. Watch what happens over the next two sessions. If Wednesday, today, it closes in the 20s and tomorrow it closes in the 21s or higher, that's serious stuff. Then you're going to see even more than a, a, just a, a small triple digit down move in the Dow. So, okay, I finished with that. What I want you to say is within the context of um, the, oh, the question came in. Oh, yes. I just wanted to show you, look, Amazon, 
Amazon is holding very nicely, up 88 cents. Apple, I did this before. Apple, um, down 42 cents, holding very well. Uh, Goog, Alphabet, uh, down uh, down a dollar 60, down a dollar 20 at uh, 121.68 at a peak. Uh, here again, I had problem with this. Is this an alternate count? I hate these alternate counts when I love it when it's just there to say. Don't be nervous. The count is just your alphabet going up. I have to put the alternate count because uh, one of the technicals is failing, the stochastic or the MACD. But in this particular point, this really does look like a C. Um, I can't, I can make it an alternate count, but I really shouldn't. I, I'm calling it a C for now, just like the spy went to a C. But then I had something else that said, uh oh, you could use the occasionally, I'll use the futures. It used to be years ago that. Very, very often we'd get over a period of a three-year time frame, I'd get a Dow sell signal based on the diamonds going to a D, but the Dow didn't, or the Dow went to a D, but the diamonds went to a C, or maybe a C1, C2. So um, this is one of those cases. I'm using this as a peak F right now, potential in the E-mini, because I think on the daily chart, this is serious stuff that we're looking at. All right. I wanted to just get that out. Oh, the question came in. Where did it go to? Um, XL, oh, XLE on a two minute chart. I will do that. Why not? Uh, XLE. Uh, XLE, there it is. XLE is trading. Oh, ho, ho. Look, I've got the one minute chart just for the moment. Peak A. Look, this is the way we do the Chapman Wave methodology. Of course, when you've got a low that you can't not identify, that's the 2020 vision. It's just fantastic. Um, you got peak A, B. C, D, we're in leg E. So that's the energy. Uh, energy, yes. So that, on the two-minute chart, uh, let me just pull up a two-minute chart, what we've got here. I, I, my, my guess is the two-minute chart is exactly the same. That's the five. I'm going to do that. Yes, two-minute chart. Okay. Let's pull this across here. So I'll be doing Larry's show this afternoon because Larry uh, has an appointment at that time. Um, and I'm going to be looking at all the different currencies. So if you've got a currency you want me to look at, put it into the when when I do my show the show at one, put it in just before that so that I can tell you what what, what I'm seeing. Um, this is so here's your cup formation in the two minute chart. That wasn't the question. I, I'll see what the exact question was. I just saw XLE two minute. So you can't go to this low right here because obviously you way way. Uh, already and now you waste. So I go to a particular candle, and here it is, and an indecisive candle, and then I type in another rectangle right here, and that says based on this particular candle, uh, in the next couple of minutes you should try for the 934 uh, time-wise this time high of 18. Point ninety nine, and right now you're at eighty point seven eight. I'll be back in a minute. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you.
Tom's Daily Market Newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. We're back. Uh, a couple of things that I just want you to do now uh, in, uh, in this segment before we get to the final segment. So this is a good time to do it. So I, I've written down here a, a couple of points that I want to look at here. Um, so RTX. So this is um, this is Raytheon. Uh, this is Raytheon. What did they did they merge with Dupont? I can't remember now. It was so long ago. But I followed Raytheon for years. Look at this beautiful arch formation, right here, and look at the way the midpoint. This is price symmetry, and uh, you've got you broke down right on the bar. The number of bars from the left low to the upper points. The high that was made in the 104 area. Comes all the way down, trading now at 94.34. I would say, if you're looking in uh, militaristically, this is a good sign that Raytheon is starting to pull back. If you look at LMT, look where it's come from, from the uh, 509 area down to 450 under the 200 period moving average for three weeks now. Uh, peak E in the weekly chart. Uh, GD is uh, right. Oh, I used to have this all notated and have it now as pullback. Uh, very sharp. It's down the 208 area. It was just a month or so ago in the 230s. I made a peak A, B, C, D, E in the monthly chart. So that to me, when I look at this, I say, oh, okay, maybe maybe this is a good sign that our military, the, the whole area of the, um, um, if I look at P, P, a, uh, PPA, yes. Is that true? No, that's the airlines. Yes, Invesco Aerospace and Defense uh, ETF also kind of pulling back. Maybe that's a good sign. That's something we'd like to like to see, uh, you know, the conflagration. Uh, at least money's not going into the, the – well, certainly money's going into the military, but you're not seeing in the price of the stocks. And that's saying that, that – I, I just look at it as a good sign for now. But here's the other thing I want to look at, the PPH – the PPH, which is the Van Eck Pharmaceutical ETF, was going very nicely. I said this is a PD in the Chapman Wave Weekly. In, this is the inside track repellent zone. It's pulled back. I have to wait for the week to finish, but even this hasn't given me a sell signal yet. But look how many chart formations we're looking at. We've seen them on the downside, but now look on the upside where you see the arch formation Go to a second arch. It makes a bigger one in the end, but I like to divide it up. It looks like a little heart, right? Oh, isn't that cute? And um, I'm watching this pattern because these ellipses to the upside keep coming down. And if you start to see them take out the midpoint, in this case, if if the 
uh, PPH, which is the Van Eck Pharmaceutical ETF, takes out, first of all, the daily 76, uh, 66 200-period moving average is at 77.06 right now. Wow, then you start to look at the 74, 73 areas of possibility. And that's the reason why overall I've become somewhat cautious on the, on the overall marketplace itself. I love the fact that you've had some leadership. But I think even that leadership, let's go to Shopify. Why not? Let's see what it's doing. Yeah, Shopify made a peak D and now it's uh, going down. Will it fill the gap in the 50 area? I don't know, but it's a peak D in the weekly chart. It's had a spectacular move going from the 23s to the 60, uh, 66. It's a double, and now it's taking a bit of a breather. And that's the reason why I think market-wise, all of this fits beautifully into the market taking a breather at this particular time. That's not to say select areas aren't going to be able to move, but I'm saying overall the market, sector by sector. Look at the SMHs. The SMH made a peak E slash B. Everything about it says it's probably an E at 134.31. But wait a minute, look at the SOXS. This is the, the three times short. Look at the way you had this beautiful buy from the 16 area to 23.22 at, on the 27th of April. Peak D comes down, makes the dreaded H. No, it holds, it makes the lowercase m fails and bam that's what i'm a little worried about the dow i don't want to see that happen on the dow and it goes all the way down to 15.88 four sessions ago and here it is at 17.84 today it's up seven percent already and that's just saying to me the speed with which we're looking at all these different um resolutions of overbought or oversold is really important um yes jim that's true um, it had it had it around 12, and I remember it going down to 50 cents or something. And yeah, the thing is way way higher. So you never can tell with these uh, uh, biotechs. So in the meantime, back at the ranch, what we're looking at is at minus 202 in the Dow. Price wise, I'm not talking about chart wise. I'm just talking about price wise. This is not very bearish. I mean, we've had the intraday moves of 200 points up and down in split seconds. So that's not the issue. The issue is the determination, the sustaining of a particular trend. And right now, what we're looking at is, if I'm looking at, I want you to go to the XLK, because that had done, that had broken to a new recovery high. Went to a peak D in the Chapman wave. That's where you've got to be careful. And now it's pulling back. And that is the S&P Select Tiger Spider Fund. And that's what I'm saying. Weekly charts still look fabulous. But the daily charts look like they need a timeout. And a timeout of maybe 10%, 12% in something like an XLK going from 150, let's call it 158 to 148, something like that. Uh, maybe even a little lower. Um, that's fine. Or well, even down to 141, the 200-period moving average. So that's 18. That's about uh, 12, 13, 14 percent. Nothing wrong with that after a fantastic move. Just in in two months or so, two, three months, it's gone from 135 to the 158 area. You, there's nothing wrong here. So it is. It is. What what is what is discussed? And you know that um, on the on Biden's side, he gets locked in on something and he repeats it over and over and over. When he changes his mind about something, um, he's allowed to do that. The press doesn't do anything. And uh, with McCarthy, um, whatever he does is going to look like a compromise. So we've got this, uh, on the one side, you've got Biden, who is the president. Presidents usually have the leading power at this particular point. That's the case. And we'll see. He's going to give into something. What he gives into is going to be really important. And uh, that can last a little longer. And that's why you've got, you, you can see rallies that are failing. And I'm looking at it politically because that's what the market's about just at the moment. And you've got to do that because you can't ignore everything. You've got to look at whatever you, you, whatever you have. Chart-wise, price-wise, look at this. A big deal. There's the XLK trading at 143.92 on the 25th of April. So 143 goes to 150. Uh, is that an 8? Yeah, 158. <laughs> I, I would say um, 30 point. That's that's a pretty decent rally. 
it had that before, a little bit more from the last one, and then it gave back some in this A to B equals C to D. That's the lightning bolt pattern right there. And if we did the same thing here, you could see this come down to the 148s quite quickly. Um, nothing wrong with that. So I'm just saying to be ready. That's the most important thing. I've said subscribe. We've raised, we've raised some money. We've missed it. We missed going short yesterday by, by pennies. It was my fault because I, I looked at that spine. I thought, peak C, this should be an attempt to get it. Eight, TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So I completely forgot to go back to what I was doing before. The XLE on the two-minute chart, I drawn this in and I said by, what time did I say? I said by uh, 10.42, it should try to get to 80.99. Well, I'm sorry, it got to... Uh, 10, uh, 80.92 at 10.44, and then at 10.46, it went to uh, 80.98. So it missed it by a penny and two minutes, uh, two bars. So there it is. There's your D, and D is what you expect in a buy mode. And that's where I said the stochastic was holding well. It should go to it should go to a higher leg, and it did. 
and now it's making a little cup formation. Anyway, that's what you can do. So the Chapman Wave works at any time frame, anything. We do it live. I'll do some of that when I when – I, maybe I will – when I do Larry's show at once. So I'm going to just sign off right now because this is the end of the – this particular show, Tiger Technicians Hour, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Now, what we're all looking at in this particular instance is NVIDIA. Earnings come out tonight. It's had a spectacular move, but it's had four days in which to pull back. So there's a chance that the news is really good. It has an overnight spike, but by tomorrow morning, that spike fades a little bit just because of market conditions. But as I'm looking at it now, it's fulfilled almost everything in the in the Chapman Wave methodology that I look at. Yes, your left side, right side, price time match. It went to it within the exact bar of the weekly chart at 289.46, way back from April of this past year. Uh, no, last year, and there it is, same number. What now? It's gone above. That makes 289.46. Very important, starting to close two bars out of three, and a weekly chart below that says, oops, 267, the 14 period moving average could be hit. But this is going to be quite important because 346.47 was the all time high. Hey, I'm wrapping it up, handing it over to Steve Rose of Continue. Great programming here at TFN. I'll be back at one o'clock Eastern time. Larry's show is away and uh, for that hour, and I will be there. So uh, hold tight. Day is young. Anything can happen. See you in an hour or two. Uh, two.